Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 8 January. It's a Tuesday. Not much on the calendar today. Uh, we're looking for news out of China, whether they've closed this deal. Lots of rumors and hearsay overnight that we're close to closing this. Nobody seems to have any evidence backing anything either way, so... We we'll just keep our eyes on the wires here. Still uh, trading from the long side in Euro dollar. Frustrating Asian session. We traded up to as high as 85. Uh, bearish engulfed on the hour and then back down to 35. Um, you know, this is still in play till we get below this sort of 114.10 area. I'm very, very surprised we didn't trade last night, but like I said yesterday, um, it would be more logical if this were to happen over the FOMC minutes tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Swiss time, or during one of Powell's speeches over the next coming days, um, because we do, when we break these big levels, we often like to have a story, a compelling story behind it. But for now, um, we're still trading the long side, uh, and we cut out of this, say, below 114 figure. Keeping it light for now, um, with this price action overnight, or should I say keeping it lighter. As we've talked about, this has now been in this range now for, for two months, so when this breaks, it's important. Um, either 115 or 112.70. We don't really care which side breaks as long as something breaks. Um, so let's keep an eye on this. Right dead, spent, dead middle of it right now uh, at 43. Boons uh, haven't done much, but as you can see, they're finally collaborating by going lower, which is nice. 75, the low today where we opened, which is just a little bit lower uh, than 76, yesterday's close. Also, fixed income has turned. Uh, we've been talking about this for a couple days. Where's ZB? We had this mysterious move up to 147.18 yesterday, but finally uh, ZB caught ahead of steam, traded down to 06, and now we're back at 10. This is a uh, core short, uh, tradable short. So hopefully you have your core in place, and now you're selling high ones today. I don't know, 146.31. Um, and if you get paid, Try and snag a half a point or three quarters of a point profit, which will add to your average of your core. Um, bonds are more of a patience trade than FX, so if you're purely an FX trader, I do not recommend uh, trading bonds. It's, it's a pretty different animal. It took me many years of uh, suffering to figure out how to trade these things, so just be careful. If you're, if you're not, if you don't have experience trading BTPs, boons, or the U.S. Treasury curve, uh, please be careful going into this. Anyway, uh, let's talk oil. The Saudis cut yesterday, but oil failed to go higher, traded up to uh, 4980. The oil traders in my room uh, were seeing huge bids going into 50 bucks, 4992. There was 900 lot. 4970 mumble there was like 500 lot um, which did get that which got done um, so looks like there's some natural selling into 50 makes a lot of sense technically I don't pretend to be a great oil trader just sharing um, the fact that Saudi's cut and it's lower I think is telling Looks like left-hand side is the way on this. What else is out there? Dollar Yen traded 109.99. This guy's been tricky this year, to say the least. Um, this was the high before the uh, flash crash. 
108.90. We're trading right around there now. We've done this little sort of bearish engulfer on the hours. Dollar yen. Um, you know, technically, I would sell this. It was purely technical, but because of this um, possible China deal, I'm just going to leave this alone for now um, and see see how we do. There will be stops now above 109.03 for all of those who are, who are purely technical and are, are selling this on this hour. Uh, so keep that in mind if uh, you're a break trader or if you like longs, there should be some acceleration above 109.02 today. Cross yen hasn't done much. Dollar EM, let's come back a little bit. This is the uh, consensus trade to open the year. The two big down days, some consolidation here. Um, this looks like a buy going into this 200 day or, or maybe fading this uh, 1350 area. No dog in this fight. Um, we'll just have to see how things go. Kind of waiting patiently now. Spending a lot of energy uh, on the euro dollar and shorting fixed income. Uh, what else is there? Dollar CAD ended up going down in the end yesterday. Uh, we still think this is a crowded trade here. We're, we're we don't have a position in it, but we do feel this is crowded. Yesterday it went down because oil went higher and euro dollar went higher. Uh, reminder to everyone: the Bank of Canada decision is tomorrow. Um, looks like we'll do a squeeze in dollar CAD. So, we'll have to see, see how that goes. What else? We have some Apple longs we talked about uh, down at 144. If you're going to trade this as a tradable long, uh, your first point of interest is that 155 level, which is the gap fill. Just want to throw that out there. All right, uh, like I said, quiet on the data front. We're watching news from China. Uh, we've got Canadian trade today, which is usually interesting for CAD. Uh, German industrial production, French trade, not usually too interesting either of those. Uh, so we, we stick with a smaller wrist euro long and we're short fixed income. See how we do today. Good luck out there, people. Talk soon.